What's up, everybody? I almost fell out there, bitch. Please don't fall. Boy, somebody fell out there. Uh, Please. Justin, Justin fell into the, the Do shit. Do not yesterday. fall. Into oh, my God. Into the fridge. Well, he, up. That's why all the Jameson gone. Nah, he oh, wasn't okay. even drinking that night. That was a lot of people in this bitch when this here happened. Jesus. But hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode. We got a special guest in here. Everybody get their hands up. Tell them who you are. It's your girl, Randy Sky. Oh, you don't got to talk to it. It's going to catch everything. Oh, it's going to catch everything oh, I say? Okay, everything. thank God. All right. Oh, yeah. You can, I've been you on can. a lot of janky shit where yeah. I got to, you know. Oh, no. As you can see, this <laughs> yeah, is this not is nice. Yeah, this, this <laughs> is nice. I don't fuck around when I'm putting <laughs> shit on the internet. I put it like that. Especially this is nice. Livelihood, yeah, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate being on No Draws. And Yo, I, mean, firm, I can't like four times. Shit was happening. It was crazy. That's why I was purposely late today. I'm glad. You, was no, only, just you wasn't that late. I was just playing. <laughs> I no, it really was hour. traffic. It was really bad. It's Atlanta, too. And it's, a, and it's, it's 6 o'clock. Oh, nigga, yeah. you caught the worst part of it. Yeah, and I was coming from Alabama, so. Yeah, you definitely Or Douglasville. Right where you see six flags. That's why I know I'm Yeah, I, I'm like the next exit. Oh. So I definitely live over there. That's a dope ass scenery. But damn. Yeah, this? man. Well, that's a far ass drive, man. But thank you for coming, man. This is gonna be crazy. First of all, first question I ask everybody when they're on this show, when is the best time for you to wear no drawers? Um, usually at night, for sure. Like to go to bed. Cause sometimes you gotta air your coochie out. Yeah. You got to air your coochie exactly. out. Like, the doctor will tell you, you cannot just, like, you got to put some air up in there, man. I didn't know either. So, the doctor really be like, look. Yeah, from sometimes, you got to air it out. So, like, out of seven days a week, two days, you got to air it out? Yeah, I might do more. Okay, bet. I mean, because sometimes I just, you know, might get drunk and just pass out butt naked in the bed. That? First of all, what? What? Why is you butt naked in the bed just drunk? Because I be jacking off. I'm single. So I be, you know, oh I might rub a dub. you that rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, my rose broke. So what you got now? My hand. That's why I'm missing two nails. <laughs> I know you're not playing. <laughs> you're fucking disgusting. I love it. Ew. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, man. I, had to, I gave up beating off for the New Year's. I, I, I just had to stop, man. You know what? I kind of had to fall back a little bit, too, because I was like, am I, I think I'm over-sexualizing myself. Yeah. It's the phone, man. It's in our hand, and porn is right there. The porn, the porn of, finger. man. God damn. Man, I'm, the porn, I, it's disturbing, because I'm on, like, page 37. I don't never look at the page. Trying to find the perfect fucking video, man. Yeah. And you be like, oh, I done beat off to her. Don't need to do that again. Been oh, there, yeah. done that. Oh, I'm very peculiar about the porn like for one who knew that we could all do porn now all we gotta do is wear a ski mask what no I gotta cut up my tattoos people know what my tattoos look like I don't know just wear your ski mask man that's how I, I might do it. it though open up an OnlyFans on the alias make $200 I wanted to do an OnlyFans tell jokes topless that'll work yeah. oh it's somebody gonna pay for that yeah I got big titties so it'll work <laughs> what you got like tri double, triple D's double triple D's? see I be knowing I be knowing my yeah. know your titties fellas <laughs> It'll take you far in life. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, for real. Definitely know your girl bra size. I don't be... Yeah, you gotta know... You gotta know your girl bra size, bro. For real. You gotta know titty is bigger than the other one. Nah, nah, all that don't matter. Because it's only... It's only... Like, if your titty is abnormally bigger than the other, bro, something wrong. Abnormally, yeah. Like, yeah, right. you get what I'm saying? Like, for real, like... Cause I see that. most cities are... One is always bigger than the other, but it's like not... Not too noticeable. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just like one of your eyes is supposed to be bigger than the other. One of my head, one, my left foot slightly bigger than my right one. That came from your parents putting cheap shoes on you growing up. Nah, but my left hand bigger than my, my right one. Like, it's just my left side of my body. I definitely switched to southpaw once I got tired of this right one. I was like, let me hit the left. So you ambidextrous with your masturbation. I actually have not. I'm actually left-handed when beating off. I don't, I don't, and I'm right-handed with everything else. I prefer my right, but every now and then I switch it up. Yeah, try yeah. to... You know, go to the left. I mean, yeah. I don't jack, I DJ, but. You need to stop. Don't rub your clips, move on off, man. <laughs> yeah, you be, you be loud and aggressive. Man, I know listen, I'm, you gotta understand, I'm at a different age, man. I'm at the age now where it's like, your sex drive, nobody told me that 40 year old woman's sex drive is like. Oh. <sighs> Y'all just be up and through there you all the time? just be horny, bro. Like, I don't know well, what it is. It's what being I think that's why women become cougars, because they can date younger men, because younger men can keep up with that stamina. Yep. Whereas, you know, the older men, most of the time, they might, you know, it's some older men, they're going to lay it down. But after they bust, they got to... 
You got to wait a couple of days. Yeah, you got to lay down. Like, yeah, you're going to have to sleep that off. You got to lay down after you book. Yeah, you got to lay down for sure. Yo, facts. Be if he's over 40, 45, for real. Like, oh, yeah, if, if, if he's not, that boy on it, Viagra. What does it say? Alice's? Blue pills, uh, sea moss, the honey pack with the razzle dazzle in it. So the sea moss works. Oh, sea moss is fucking God's gift to every person. You too. You don't need sea moss. You gonna <laughs> throw your clit in the Chattahoochee if <laughs> you keep playing with it. That shit is no. That sea moss. You think that sea moss works? Ain't no think. You know it is a universal. Every black man that takes sea moss know. So you take it every day? Uh, yeah, about a, a spoonful every day. And what does it? What does it do for your for your sex life? Your body. Has needs 102 minerals. Sea moss has 94 of it. Give or take a few. That's all you need, nigga. You up and through there. That's natural Viagra. Okay. And you can make it yourself for way less than what they be selling. I mean, you know, listen, honestly, you don't black need people have been making me feel like sea moss is the answer to everything. It and is. it's like, it's, it's not to everything. If you take care of yourself, it'll enhance it. To your body, yes. Yeah. But, like, I be talking to people about financial problems, and they like, did you try the new strawberry sea moss? It's like, I'm in financial despair, bitch. Like, no. What? Ain't no damn seaweed about to help me get my credit score up. Sea moss. Excuse me. Sea moss. My bad. <laughs> she said strawberry sea moss. That shit good, I bet. I be eating the old natural. This bitch. The shit that be tasting like slavery, but I know that shit gonna get me up and through there. Not taste like slavery. Yeah, man. That shit be salty. You ain't never cleaned it out. That shit be salty if fuck. Can you take too much? I don't think you can overdose over sea moss. You're gonna have to fuck a lot to get that about your system. I'm telling you that and the honey pack. I don't know if you what's the honey pack. I, I think I vaguely heard of that. Dazzle. It got like special herbs and spices. Is this in that it. honey that costs like two hundred dollars a drop? No, nah, you know what I'm talking about. about that honey with that psychedelic properties. Oh no, it. not that. No, nah. you know what I'm talking about. There's like way out in the mountains in China yeah. or some shit. And then they got to climb up there. And yeah, cut it down. and then they be up there getting high as fuck, Man. just taking drops of the money. Not finna do that. Nah, it's uh, somebody made it. <laughs> I feel, I've been wanting to order some of that honey. I, 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 I'm anxious to see what it do. Have you done drug drugs? Like, uh, not drugs. I've done shrooms. Shrooms, yeah, shrooms don't count. That's the, probably the only, other than weed, shrooms, I've never done nothing. I can't else. do real, real drugs because I'm too sensitive. Like, How I, you I'm know? Scared. Didn't that mean you did them? No, I just, I did fake perk one time. A fake it look like you time. do coke. I don't. I would, you I just look like it. it's just a blonde patch. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. the way I dress says cocaine all the time, so yeah, I don't even really maybe. be. maybe. Dangly earring. Yeah, that's cocaine, sea moss, and a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be thinking I got white girls galore, and I be like, negative. I now, need I that vagina brown think, and think pink. You, I'm going to say, I wouldn't think that you would date white girls. I don't. You don't, you don't give off. Snow oh. bunny vibes. It, uh, vibes. People, white people, white dudes ask me all the time, do I date white girls? And I be like, I ain't really. I you fucked know. a white girl before. Definitely gave them that broad and staff, okay. but I ain't never <laughs> do a relationship with one. I've never been with nobody white, and my daddy white. Wow, you, wait, so you, you Drake? I thought you was Hispanic. Mm, no, my daddy white, my mama black. Oh, my daddy was a nigger lover. <laughs> Why are you like this, man? <laughs> First of all, I, my daddy was a My nigga. daddy, no, for real. All my uncles used to be like, yo, your daddy was the realest nigga out here. He was the only white dude that would come on the projects to fuck with your mama. Nobody else white would come he, over oh, there. He real, real. He be in the project with the thugs. Like when, when the drug dealers respect your daddy and he white, yeah. He, yeah, he but he person. divorced my mama and married a white lady. Less stress. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he he divorced my they divorced and married a white woman. I She's see. a great lady though. I know she probably the food don't be that good, but she love him. No, anytime I go over there, they see they be trying to trick me. They be going and getting like Publix chicken and uh, taking it out the box and putting it on there. It's like, nigga, I know Publix. I know in the, in, the, in the trash. I see that. <laughs> this is Publix. I can yeah. tell from the flavor. <laughs> I could this, is, yeah, this is Publix for what a, sure. What a, what a soft Hawaiian. You know, Publix chicken be too big, like they pump them up. Big as hell. Big as hell. Steroid chicken. Yeah, exactly. Eat that shit. That's crazy. Exactly. Fuck. Like no chicken breast should be that That's big. That's crazy as hell, man. How, oh, you you was telling us about. Uh, oh, I love my show. daddy. I just want to hey, disclose yeah. it because he always got me out of jail too. Oh yeah. Wait, time out. I was not expecting. Y'all always got me out of jail. Yeah, like out of the rest of my black family, my white daddy is the one that got me out of jail every time. Because he can talk to the Thor. Come on, y'all. Come on, guys. Let's nah, he tried to here. talk one time. They still took me. Okay. But he, you know, he always sent the money. He always had the money to get me out. That's really the key. If you got the money to get out, you can get out. Real nigga. Yeah, man. I What? Put money on me. He a real books. nigga. But every now and then he be saying some shit sometime where it be like, bruh. 
Like one time he was like, yeah, when you was a baby, I used to put gobs of baby oil in your hair because it was so nappy. I was like, you can't, uh, you is. can't say that. He can't because he raised you. <laughs> you can't say nappy head. I was like, you can't say nappy headed right yeah, now. Why bro. people can't say nappy? It sounds racist. Y- yes, to your own daughter nappy. though. You put gobs of baby oil in my fucking head. Can we say tangly or whatever <laughs> they be using in them commercials? Well, Lorray said her mama used to say because Lorray mama white. Lorray mama used to say gnarly. It's a little gnarly. That shit, that shit almost as bad as nappy. <laughs> that shit like an ass nappy. <laughs> gnarly. Yeah, your hair's pretty gnarly. What? what? It sounds like you you got cocaine in your baby's hair. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, because I thought gnarly was like, gnarly yeah, dude. Like, Bro, we're doing everything. Yeah. Acid in the butt. Yeah. Okay. Maybe doing that or maybe she says snarly. Is that a word? Snar- snares and tangles. Snarls. Snarly. Snarly. Okay, okay. If she says snarly, that makes sense. But gnarly sounds wild to <laughs> say to you about your baby here. <laughs> but how long you been doing comedy, though? Like five years now. Oh, you have five? So you five-year-old. Okay. Yeah, That's five dope, years man. old, man. When, when, your, when your comedy birthday? In April. I April. don't know it's the exact up. date. Mine, yeah. mine is coming up. Mine is... Uh, so I guess it'd be about six then, I think. Because I've been here like four. Oh, yeah, you've been here, been here. Like, it'd be some people that be slowly ushering themselves no. into Atlanta using that bitch. I'm here, bitch. Nigga, I quit go. my job for 12 years to do this. I got a kid to feed. Hey, man. You, I ain't got you, nothing, nothing, you, nothing. nothing that, I'm about to say. You a real That's one. That's it. <laughs> you, can te- you can tell when it really in you when you on stage because niggas be like, bro, I ain't playing. I'm dead ass serious. And people be laughing. Like, nah, she, she, she really mean that. No, I, I be telling you. Yeah, most of my stuff is the truth. I, I write a little. I, I do write and I do exaggerate the truth sometimes with telling jokes, but I definitely, um, it's my life. Yeah, man, you got to talk about it. It be weird hearing people like, man, I got this joke. Like, man, just tell about your life. Yeah. The joke, the, the format will come out how it is, bro. Don't, yeah, don't. that's the truth, though. And then some people, they get so caught up in just trying to do their routine. I they don't know how to the, the interact with the crowd. Bro. They don't know how to read the crowd. You just up there just trying to tell your set word for word. And it's just like, that's not going to work everywhere. It's never going to. First of all, no, not you in think Atlanta. that's going to work, that's never going to work. Ever like yeah. you, you? When the last time you did a set set for set on purpose? Probably when I first started. Exactly. Yeah. And then you never know in Atlanta you be at a hookah spot. You might be at my house. You might fighting be fighting for your life on yeah, that goddamn 17 stage. Seventeen TVs in the back. Niggas with Falcons jerseys on, ready to be <laughs> disappointed. Niggas just yelling out, "You ain't funny, bitch!" Boo! Oh. I ain't got no. Nah, <laughs> the best ones be like, "What's the craziest?" Uh, Face you've told jokes that you be like, it wasn't even good, but bad. Just like, nigga, why am I here right now? Oh man, I told jokes one time in Charlotte at a fishbowl room. You did that place too? Do you know what I'm talking I know about? You Do you know what a fishbowl room yeah. is? You shout out to Nikki Who. That's who that brought me out there, girl I did from New that York. Shit in like five years, six years. I it remember was, that place. They had a little karaoke mic. Do you do you was there? Like five years ago. I don't know if it's changed since the last time. And they be I in there gambling. There. Yep. On the fishbowl tables. It looked like Dave and Buster's, like they done took yeah. all the stuff from Dave and Buster's and found out how to make money off of this. And then they was like, here, niggas. Yeah. And then they, and then all you hear is this. The whole time you're trying to tell jokes. <laughs> That's the worst. You That's fighting that. Worst. And yes. you tell the jokes. Oh, my God. But when you first start, you so hungry just for stage time. It's man. like, man, I used to go wherever. Wherever. Sh- Nigga, I for, free. Spot, for, for free. For free. I did a spot one time. They was having a, you know how you ever get put in a, a comedy show in a rap so- showcase? It'd be like a, sh- a rap, I two rappers, it. then you got a break, then a music break, right. then two more comments. I hosted a rapper event not too long ago. By far the most stressful. Long as hell. I, I left after a certain time. After the last rapper did, was on his fifth song, I said, oh yeah. I, it wasn't good. I've been here for two hours. Like I, I've, I've done my part. But on top of that, it was like nobody wanted to go first. And then once somebody went first, then everybody wanted to go first. And then it was like the lineup kept changing every five minutes. Oh, niggas God. is late. Niggas thinking they better than. You in the pet soul case with everybody else. Relax, man. <laughs> shit. That shit be pissing me like, off. Like, you're not Jay-Z, bro. Like, you're not. Lil Baby, like, I don't know. What are you? <laughs> you and your trap niggas can do this elsewhere. <laughs> and it really don't be trap niggas. It be niggas that be coming from their mama basement that be trying to rap. Yes. That's really what it is. Yeah, I could believe that too. Cause they like, cause if you listen to the music and what it sound like, bro, this is an act. I get it. Like, this ain't your life. This is not your life. This is not your life. This is what you put on to be a rapper. To be a rapper, yep. I get it. And it's and it's only short lived. 
If yeah. you doing it like that, it's gonna be short lived. That shit is crazy. That's how I be. Cause it's not real, comedy, bro. It'd be weird. I'd be like, niggas and wigs are winning. Finna put a wig on. But see, I think like with comedy, it's like it's a lot of people out here just trying to figure out their way. So they like, shit, I'm gonna just try this. I'm gonna yeah. just do this. But in a way, to those people, I feel like get out the way. <laughs> not oh, for God, real. Like no, if you're not serious you're about this and you just trying to get some attention. Like I remember I met a girl once. She was like, well, you know, I'm in the modeling, land, but I just want to get seen more. So now I'm trying to do comedy. Bitch, post your nudes and go. Like, yeah, go like, we, like, fans. yeah, like, I mean, just model. Dude, go model. Model only fans. Go model. Somebody gonna pay for it. Like, yeah. Not like, me. But now, next thing you know, you getting booked more than me because your ass fat. Facts. That's a cheat code. If you have titties online, you can do anything. Man, I done had promoters hit me up and be like, man, I done brought such and such out here, man. She she bombed like a motherfucker. You you brought her. You yeah, wanted to fuck. That. You wanted you yeah. thought you was gonna fuck. You didn't get the fuck. And you brought her. Now you calling me. Can you please come next month? Yeah, nah. Cause we gonna come with the real shit. That's all people really want, man. They don't want that. Not even say gimmicky shit. It just be like. You know when you putting on the bullshit. Like, nigga, the people, most of the times, I feel like in the comedy, especially in the South, these are real ass people. Yeah. These ain't niggas that's affluent. These niggas, they might, they might have money, but they still got problems like everybody else. Yeah. They want some real ass jokes. They don't want to. And honestly, Atlanta's one of the hardest places to tell jokes. You know, people be like New York and all no, of that. It's Atlanta. I'm it's sorry. Atlanta. I be seeing niggas that killing New York, killing LA, come here and cannot do five minutes. Woo! Be watching me the bag of baby dicks. Yes. With 200,000 followers. I remember it was one dude, I think we was at Zari's. I cannot remember the guy's name. Oh, that dude but he. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. It's a spot that you're not ready for. <laughs> Zari's for one. I mean, anytime I got to go there, it's like. You be like, ah, oh, I got to come with it today. Yeah. No, no, the last time I was there, I was just like, fuck y'all, man. I'm about to just talk shit. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Like, that's literally like, they don't want no jokes. They don't want they no. They want you to fuck with them. Yeah. Just fuck with them. And, and they might laugh. <laughs> and they be like, ha. <laughs> yeah. They might laugh. It depends. You know, yeah, so. but I just remember this one guy, he came, he was like, he'd been on tour with, you know, just dropping big names some more and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he going in like, yeah, I just got off the road. I do this, this and that. But he went up there and was so bad. Them niggas wanted to fight him. Oh, my God. How like, they had to get, bad? like, he was that bad. It's like, niggas was like, yo, get the fuck off. Like. Especially if you're the hookah spot. Yeah. Them, tra them trap niggas in the back That's will what I'm tell saying. you. And they was no, they literally were about to fight, buddy, because oh, Buddy was like, man. I ain't gotta get off. They like, nigga, we don't wanna hear you. Who this nigga is? <laughs> Family, nigga. This whole generation. But it was just the fact that you came up there so cocky telling everybody yeah. how you do this. Like, don't tell nobody shit. Get on that stage and, and do what you do. And go. You don't need to tell nobody nothing. Facts. I'm so tired of everybody want to tell who, what they is and what they yeah. do. They, they don't give a fuck out here. No, negative fucks. None. Like, niggas want you. Niggas come up on stage with you be like, I hope you funny. It ain't even no, like... I'm here to enjoy this shit. I'm here to hope you funny. Okay. I learned that real quick when I first moved here. This lady was asking me about who I done work with. Or, you know, she was asking me where I was from. And so, you know, I'm dropping names. Like, shit, I done opened up for Tyrese Cam and shit. That bitch was like, I don't give a fuck. Go on up there and let me, you know, because it don't matter. Don't matter at all. It don't matter. You get a, a boo can come at any moment. Like, so, like, it is what it is. Even the greatest have bombed. And they still will catch a LA now and then. It's not really not hard to not not even hard, but it's just in Atlanta you will catch one just cause circumstances might not be right. Niggas goddamn Mike might be going out. I remember I had to do a show one time at a podium. I couldn't nigga the podium. You know how you got a little thing you can bend yeah. it. Nigga, I'm right here like Martin Luther King <laughs> giving an Easter speech. An order, right? <laughs> Speaker's trash. I'm like, this is not good. I did a show at a podium once, but it was at a church. You so did a church show? I started doing clean comedy. Wow. I, I do clean that? comedy. You know what? We can talk about that. Hey, people start. Hey, we do clean comedy. Not yeah, hard. I do what you book me for. It's very easy. If you tell me anything goes, I'm going to give you anything goes. Exactly. If you tell me to do clean, I'm going to give you clean. I worked in corporate America for 12 years. Cursing is an option. Boom. You don't have to do that. And I don't, th I don't think no comedian should put themselves in a box. Even yeah. like clean comedians think they're better because they only do, they do clean. clean. I'm ready for prime time. All right, motherfucker. I'm ready for Jimmy Fallon if yeah. I can put together. Okay, me too. Fun. Like it's nothing. If you're funny, you're funny. Facts. You don't got to curse to be funny. You don't got to talk all. about dick and pussy to be funny. At if all. you funny, you funny. That's, that's some real ass shit because it'd be weird. People are like, yeah, I just do clean comedy. That's cool. I'm sure you can Yeah, good you for want. you putting but yourself I have in that box. It's more fun being what I, doing whatever I want to do because then the clean, even the clean people be like, hey, let's go see what this person's talking about because I seen them doing XYZ. I do comedy. Yeah. 
Boy, you see where I be. You see, <laughs> I be everywhere. Doing I do whatever. comedy, and I think all, uh, any great comedian should be everywhere. White rooms, black rooms, Puerto Rican rooms. It don't matter. Puerto Rican rooms. Puerto Rican. I don't know where they at. The, the Mexican rooms probably be good. <laughs> hey, the best, my favorite places to tell jokes would be like the uh, Jam Rocks. They used to have my, my homeboy Big P. Shout out to you. He had this spot called uh, all the uh, Jamaicans. Nigga, that, they be having. They let you rock out. They they here for comedy. Yeah, Jamaicans, like Jamaicans. Man, no, nah, you ever did a show with a bunch of Africans? I have not. <laughs> It's it's different. It gotta be. Man, Is I that, did a show with I think it was like K Dub, Daryl Dam, and a bunch, and they had the other African comedians. I mean, it was full African show. Like oh, they sandals in them, and little outfits. Oh, they was designer musty, down for this. Oh, musty niggas. Yeah, because you know niggas. they got the hook up on the on the bootleg stuff. Oh, they be having money for it. But you know, at first, like the majority of comedians when they first went up, it was like they kind of wasn't really. Yep. Vibing, I don't know. I went up there and threw every, all my material out the door and just talked about them Africans in my inbox. That's all you got to do. And they loved it. That's all you got to do. At they a certain loved point, it. fuck it. Go. You got to read your crowd. Yeah. Because I knew if I went up there and talked about stuff I go through every day, they wasn't going to know what I was talking what about. What the fuck is she talking about? Yeah, exactly. It, that's how they was in there. Because even the African girl that went up there, I couldn't really understand her, honestly, to know if she was killing because she had a deep accent and she was doing a lot of... Oh, she was doing uh, the sucking the in the dialogues. teeth, and yeah. Got so it. I didn't really know if she was killing, but they wasn't really laughing too much. So you went up there being murdered. That I, hey, you, you got a bombing story? It was scary though. Everybody got an Atlanta bombing story. Maybe not a boo, but a one well, you was like, nigga, that felt awful. I'm going home. I've definitely burn. had some shows that I don't think was as good as others, but I have not honestly had my full throttle bomb moment just wow, yet. Man. Don't, you don't need it. Like, I've never got. I mean, I'm it. sure it will come. I'm not trying to say that I. it's not possible for me. I'm sure it'll come. But I've definitely had some days where it was like not as good as you what I'm hope. used to. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I ain't never had no full five minutes of no laughter. Oh, nigga. That, like that will be on Comedy Central sometimes? I never had that A lot that of niggas one. just be up there talking to themselves, to hear themselves. And you be like, you got on TV? Wow. Because even if I try some new shit and it don't work, nigga, I'm going to go with what I know do exactly. work. <laughs> because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, a lot of times with open mics, I think people don't be realizing that you got a real audience. Yeah. You know, like if you go do one of Maurice rooms, you got a real audience right there. So you got. So really, you need to give them something too. Yeah, you could try some new shit, but if it don't work, you need to give them shit. something because you want them to remember your name. Facts. That's my whole thing. I want you to remember my name. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember who I am and fuck with me. You that's know, all, that's all we want, everybody. And y'all need to start following people too online, bro. Y'all be giving them uh, niggas and wigs all them follows. Get some real comedians some follows. Get some real comedians really, some follows. We, we really be out here like changing y'all world. Like yeah. Our life, like we comedy is the only place you can go on a date and you know that somebody getting kissed in the mouth after that. Like somebody going home and fucking because they didn't laugh their whole day. Like they didn't have a stressful day. They didn't forgot they was fighting. Yeah. And people be wanting to fuck you just because you funny. Yeah, that should be crazy, man. That part, boy. What I'm do you be getting? You. It gotta be different from women. I know man, they be sending dicks in y'all DMs. Yes. What they be saying like boogie for five hundred, put a dick on it. It don't table. even be about like but like for one, if you hit me up and try to be like you on some show shit, and then you follow it. By the way, I think you so pretty, uh, or, or you know, could we go out to eat and talk about this? Uh, I'm gonna nah. be like, nah, bro, like, cause you not you not trying to book me. You trying to try fuck. book this pussy? Book that pussy <laughs> is what you trying to do. <laughs> trying to book this pussy. Book it pussy. <laughs> no draws, bitch. Yeah, pussy. <laughs> Only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> Only days they ever watch. and pussy. But yeah, man. Nah, I've had like men that you see them in the crowd with their lady and will DM you after the show. That's wild. Yeah. I, I had one couple that. try to get me to go home with them. Was right in front of B Tuck. Was no, cute? they was not. I did not go with them. It's always the girl the wasn't bad, but the guy was like, oh. Like, man. I don't want that penis in me, sir. Go ahead and yeah. take that right there. I don't yeah. really want that. And I ain't never had no threesomes, so I wouldn't go and have my first with them. Nah, you gotta have feet. Yeah, yeah. Threesomes don't really be what you think it's gonna be. It's not it's gonna not. be like a 10 and a 10, two tens. You're gonna get like a five <laughs> and a seven, maybe you might do two five. Listen, this one dude that I was talking to trying to get me to do a threesome with him. And he was like, just come to the house. My friend over here he sent me a picture. The girl I was like, Boy, <laughs> you get off my phone with it, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. He was like, damn, that's harsh. And I was just all I said was, you know, I'm good on that face. And he was like, that's harsh. I was like, I mean, you fucking her though, right? Get your nut. <laughs> 
<laughs> you trying to get both of y'all like you. you, you I boy. guess I was gonna be the was upper, be the and she was the five. She was, was gonna be the when she, she had the better up. body though. She had the bigger ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Yeah, but I gotta look at you. Gotta be cute, bro. Yeah, you gotta. You be gotta proud be cute, of at least man. What you doing? I'm not about to sleep with no gremlin, no critter. You know, then we get her wet. She turned into like a gremlin. I couldn't do that either. <laughs> yeah. I respect myself. I love myself. Yes. Oh, she you was not hurt? cute. Mm, nah, yeah. And then it was funny because the first picture he sent me was like a picture of just her ass with a butt plug in it. I'm like, nigga, I'm a female. I don't want to see that. What am I supposed to do with that information? Like, even as a dude, you'd be like, all right, I see that booty hole. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it was. It's like, what? <laughs> okay. What she look like? How she built? Where are the rest of it? Yeah, like, y'all be, y'all have fun. That's yeah, all I can say. That room going to He stand. was like, you really not coming? Damn. He had, he probably had E and J. He had some men ready for y'all. Nah, he he was a gas man. He had that fire. Oh, okay, that's why he, yeah, he had that fire. Okay, that's he was a young dude. He ain't nothing that no E and J. He probably yeah, had a little Hennessy. I he had some Hennessy. Hennessy. I can't stand why do people, Hennessy. Why is that? It's so gross, bro. For us as black people, why it's a new black on cognac out here too that tastes just like Hennessy. I don't like it either. What E and J? No, you it's like a black on cognac from. Martel, is that the one everybody? Mm-mm. It's like a new one that someone out here made. Oh yeah, black people do be having liquor. Because Martel is 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 it Martel black owned or it's just a black rapper promoted it? I think it's a black rapper. You Quavo know, then promoted owns. it. Let's see who owns Martel. Because just like do say it's not black owned, but remember Jay Z used to promote that shit. You said Martel. Do say is a great cognac though. I would definitely drink that one. It's smooth. Yeah, Martel. I don't know if that's black on there. I know Quavo them used to promote that shit though. Heard on founded in seven. John Martel, that's the founder. That nigga white. Ain't no black John Martel. Hold up. Davido met Italian. Yeah, he's definitely definitely not black. Not black. John Martel. Yeah. He ain't never met no nigga named John Martel. He got an ascot on. That nigga be. I ain't never met nobody black last name Martell. At all. If at his all. first name was Martell. Then it would be like, we got one. <laughs> we got Martell one. Martell John. Hell he yeah. He ain't nigga black. He owe me some money. <laughs> Martell is a Martell crazy. John, that motherfucker black. Definitely. He got a couple child support payments. He okay. He can't yeah. travel out the country. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. That's funny as hell, man. I ain't know you only been doing comedy for five years. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been funny my You've whole life, in, though. Yeah. That, I've been, I've been class are. clown. Since high school, like I was voted class clown. Yeah, you used to get kicked yeah. out of school all the time. I used to get kicked out of class often. Yep. Yeah. I, that did used to happen. Yeah. And even when I wasn't trying to be funny, niggas would laugh. Man, tell me about it. It's the worst. It's a gift and a curse growing it up. Is. You don't know that you doing this shit. You just know, nigga, this is how I'm feeling and this is how I'm reacting. Exactly. That's and the truth. I think it's funny shit. It's, hey, bro, I'm not doing shit I'm not normally doing. No, that's the truth, for real. Because, like, I used to just be asking questions. They like, she's so goofy. Oh! I'm like, I'm, but I'm, I'm being serious. Like, <laughs> bitch, what the fuck is the answer? Like, yeah. I need some help with this algebra. <laughs> for real. Chemistry. <laughs> you know, I had a health teacher was fucked up because, like, where I'm from, she actually taught my mother in high school, too. Okay. Like, you know, you, I'm from South Carolina. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. So, you know, kind of small. And everybody that's from there, they live there. They grow up there. They stay there. Generation you know? Generation. Yeah. Gotcha. And this lady, she taught my mother in high school when she was in high school. Uh-huh. And she didn't like my mama. So, she automatically didn't like me. So, um, she would lady. always kick me out if with any little thing that I did. And she would put a sign up. There used to be an administrator. used to walk around and pick up the kids who... Um, Got kicked out of class Named Doc Rest in peace Doc Rivers He died Doc Rivers He had a uh, wooden leg Or something Yeah his name was Doc Someone Either he had a wooden leg Or he was real bow legged I don't know That's what the kids said At the school That the man was bow legged He might have had a big dick We don't know He might not have no drawers on We don't know He had a walk on him That looked like Something was heavy Up in there And she used to put (laughs) A sign up When she kicked me out That said Doc take out the trash Oh, uh, she's talking about you. She trash for that. And she was dumb because, bitch, I never stayed outside that door, bitch. I'm walking around with where Doc trying to fucking dodge. I ain't never stayed there from to be picked up to go to ISS. You dumb bitch. This has been weighing heavy. I think she you. died too. My bad. Yeah, Rest in peace. I know she did. Miss Edward. <laughs> she didn't talk to mama. She, she didn't pass yeah, away. She was old as shit. She didn't send it. You tripping. Rest in peace, Miss Edward. She didn't animosity and let it go because you just let her have it and she dead as hell. She didn't have his Fuck you, bitch. Can you be a- Somebody said something. 
No. Rest in peace. No, rest in peace to all parties involved. Now, why'd you have a dream about her tonight? Oh, she man. Like, really, bitch? I could see her little sweatsuit right now. I can Like, she used to wear a sweatsuit. With a, or a cloth. It was, Slips. it had like just squid games. Oh, she had, oh. It was oh. one of them little sweatsuits. What sweat the suits. hell? <laughs> That's a, she was doing drug sweatsuits. That's what that is. <laughs> nah, she wasn't doing no drugs. She was a straight, you walk, you walk straight lace lady. Oh, man. She was a straight lace lady. That's crazy as hell. That's funny, man. I don't think I had nobody in my high school doing all of that. I used to get kicked out all like, but I was just I, it's because I know you did. Yeah, but I was. It wasn't me all the time though. It was because you wasn't taking CMOS then. That's why I was. I was. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. My homeboys is crazy. He was I, in there fucking around, Diggs. Come nah, on. Nah, but I was smart though. So it was. I was bored. I was too. I was bored, and then it's like, nigga, I did my homework. I got an A in this class. Yep. What y'all want me to do? That's how I was too. Most people that's comedians, we probably was either the smart people or just we just. Oh, you was dumb as hell. Or dumb. It's either one. Because there's some dumbass comedians too. Now. And they'd be funny as hell. You'd be like, damn, this nigga can't really spell good. They don't even be knowing can't that they just real life. funny. They just it's unbeknownst to them. Yeah, but most people be like, man, you thought that joke was funny, like, sir, ma'am, I'm actually very smart in real life, so I don't know what you want me to tell you. Cause sometimes people will try to play you like you dumb because you a comedian. Yo, that shit blows and my mind. And it's just like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Like, nigga, all right. So if I'm so dumb, how come I just got paid to make y'all laugh? How much you got paid for the whole day, and I only was up here for fifteen minutes? Yeah, I just made three hundred. That part to talk for fifteen minutes. Hello. Even even if you was just doing an open mic spot and got paid a hundred dollars to talk for ten to fifteen minutes, that's 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 a that's no nobody else is getting paid that amount per minute. Facts, like, and you gotta come with it. You not most people not even get a hundred dollars an hour. Not, not even. That's that's per minute, like ten minutes. Like I break it into ten, like hundred dollars for every ten. That's minutes. what I'm saying. I I worked in corporate America for twelve years, and literally I make more money doing a show than I would make damn near for the week. Yeah, what was you doing in corporate America? I used to work for a trucking company. Um, I basically did like accounting work. Uh, I trucking company South, called Southeastern Freight Lines. That sounds like. It. I made it, bitch. No, <laughs> I made it up out of there. No. <laughs> but nah, man. Yeah, I was there for like twelve years doing accounting work, Excel spreadsheets all day. Oh man, you you so in a cubicle. Yeah, man. That's how I was. I was back there a while, and I was on movie sets doing accounting shit. But I was like the nigga pass out the checks. So everybody, I was calling that bitch was cracking jokes. Nigga, your check short because you got kids. <laughs> Really Listen, I used to do payroll for a department Ooh. too for a while. That's that's one of the hardest jobs because you cannot fuck up nobody money though. That's the thing. Like oh, you got be to mad. be, you got to check, triple check, quadruple check. Yeah, you cannot fuck up nobody money. I mean, down to the cent. Yeah, because you know, will be like, I was an right, auditor, bro. I was this? Oh, I done did. I done pull stuff for all this, and that shit is not fun. They don't like you when you audit. It was only three of us in an apartment of like two hundred people. Oh, man. And um, he was yeah, there all types of night pulling files. And yeah, shit. I used to thought I was gonna get fired all the time. Though, oh. like every once a month, I packed up my desk just in case. This is it. <laughs> I used to be in that bitch high. On, I'd be high. I'd be like, I'd be like hey, I used look. to be high too. I used to be like, hey everybody, look, I know it's been stressful. Take a little bit of this. Giving niggas brownies. Niggas being that bitch having a ball. Oh, the whole I couldn't week. do that. They would have got like I worked in a real white. Corporate America job. Yeah, I worked in film. Film is different. Ain't no mm. real HR. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, my job definitely random drug tests. Oh, no. But that. it was so funny because with that job, it's just like, bitch, I use somebody else pee to get that job. You know what I'm saying? I still and my blunt. Yeah, exactly. I still smoked every day and was very much so functioning. I worked for y'all for 12 fucking years. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, every day. Instant. Now, one day, I remember I had a coworker. Her husband was dying. He had cancer. Damn. And um, I know she was just looking for anything And she was young She was just looking for anything Well he was kind of looking for anything Just to ease the pain But they were straight laced people You know what I'm saying And I had a homeboy who did comedy out there in Denver He came back with these Medicinal edible brownies or whatever I smoke So to me edibles don't really do much for me Unless they real deal Unless you didn't Power pack them bitches. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It got to be real deal because I smoke a lot. You know what I'm saying? Whereas somebody who don't smoke a lot, that might do a lot for them. Yeah. However, dude was like, dude brought a brownie bag. The brownie probably was probably about the size of this phone. He cut this much piece off and then cut that in half and said, that's one dose. Because this is for severe cancer patients. This is real deal medical. So I... <laughs> They gave you cancer brownies? <laughs> Why? So at first I was like, man, I was like, you know what? I said, you know what? I'm gonna give that piece 
to old girl that I work with uh, for her husband can get some, you know, some fucking relief. Yeah. You know, I didn't think I to take it because I was just looking at it like either way, that's, I that's smoke yeah. heavy. I can handle that. That's nothing. So I get to work. I always smoked a drink before I went to work. I get to work. I got the brownie there and I'm about to give it to her. But then I thought about it like this bitch, she kind of straight lace. Like I felt like she probably would have reported me or something. Like mm -hmm. she's this straight lace. One time she went to the smoothie shop and saw a nigga jacking off in her car, called the police, came back to the, came back to the job crying. Like that's how straight lace she was. Why would... In her car? No, it was a man just, she happened to walk by his car oh and saw him in there beating God. his meat. And she called the police on him. <laughs> and she was like, yes, it was son, like she was at Smoothie King, nigga. Yo. Like she was crying was when hilarious. she came back to work. That's how straight laced she was. So when I'm at work, I'm high. I got this brownie. I'm like, should I give it to her? But then I'm like, this bitch might report me. I got a kid to feed. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, man. So, but being in my high mind at the time, I'm like, I still got drugs on my table. I have to eat this. I have to get oh rid of this. God. So I, I was care. like, fuck it. Edibles don't do shit for me. So I ate it. You dumb through there. I was high for 14 hours. I could not shake this. I was so scared at work. I was like, they're going to smell me. <laughs> they're going to smell my edible. <laughs> yeah. I ate it, though. Nobody could smell nothing. But Oh, my God. You was panicking. In the, at the desk. In I the was cubicle. like, I was like, I remember other coworkers was like, "Are you okay?" Because I was watering at the eyes, like. He was about to cry. <laughs> Nigga, I happened to me. I did that with a nerd's rope one time. I didn't read the directions. That's what. I had, bro. You okay? So you had this happen, yo? I would never eat them nerd's rope again. Whoever made them edible nerd's rope, you can eat a bag of baby dicks. <laughs> Those are strong. Those read are strong. The directions. But yeah, you're only supposed to eat this much. Well, I ate like twice of that. <laughs> ate that shit. I'm driving. I'm like, I think somebody put cocaine in my in my trunk. <laughs> Driving, I'm going to my daddy's house. I call call my ex house. That was, I was like, hey yo, I need to park my car. You gotta come get me. Take it to my daddy's house. Somebody put something ain't right. Car. And I'm like, you know where Cascade is? With a, with yes. a Nigga, I'm parked right there, right next to T-Mobile. My homeboy see me like, bro, what's wrong? She's like, bro, somebody put some shit in there. It's like, yo, this nigga looking at me in the corner. <laughs> He's like, yo, you loud. So, take me to my daddy's house up the street. I just sat with my dad. I was like, oh, I'm good. I just was figuring You had to out. be protected. Yeah, I had to be around people that I know that I like. You got to be in good, good spaces, so I was man. like, I'm going home, going to sleep. Then I was like, damn, I really just bugged out a little bit. <laughs> but I ain't really do nothing. Because that bitch hit you. You ain't used to that feeling. He was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God, I'm going to prison. <laughs> but I know that happened to our friend. I gave them nurse ropes. I gave them nurse ropes. They nephew. He was grown though. He was like 18. He was 18, he was, 19. He had a day. He did not know they were drugs. He thought it was just nerds. So he ate two ropes. He had to go to the ER. Oh, shit. Somebody had to kick in the door because he had to lock himself in the room. They had to kick in the door. Like he was freaking out. He called them. They was out of town at the time. Oh, called man. him. So one of their friends went over there, kicked in the door, and they took him to the hospital. But, you know, of course, they couldn't really find no ailment. He just like, let that nigga out. Basically, but yeah, he had lost his whole mind. Uh, two ropes. He ate two ropes. He was just eating the candy, not realizing oh that God, they were drugs. Man, I'm sad for him. Yeah, he was. He was gone. He would never do drugs. Rest in peace, TJ, because he got murdered shortly after. Oh so. shit! Just Damn, I'm left. sorry. Just he got dark. <laughs> Damn, he did. He was a young man Jesus too. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. Woo, man, that's crazy. Was it because of the nurse? No, 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 no. He got murdered after. Like no, he got shot. That was why he got shot, killed. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not it get it get it get rough in the Carolinas. Hey man, people don't understand it. Like if you really come from a rough spot, like saying shit like that out loud is regular. Yeah, Everybody people like, else, people like, oh, oh my god, in Jesus name. Nah, but rest in peace, great young man. But you know what? Don't don't do wrong, the wrong drugs out in public, though. You're right. Yeah, I'm only doing shrooms in public. I did shrooms one time. No, 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 no. I microdose shrooms, and I was on Edgewood. Well, that's not the best place to microdose. Okay, yeah, that's well, what I learned. I learned that. Yourself. Well, we went to our bar, so we was in the. Well, we were in that's the bar. Even worse. You I love our bar. You in the basement on our shrooms. Our bar is one of the best bars. I no, love I'm our bar. Saying, when you do shrooms, you got to go out in the out, out outside outside. Well, the first time I did shrooms, I went outside outside on a nature walk and walked through the wrong portal. I still got a permanent mark on permanent marks. Portal? Where the hell you went? I don't know, but I know I went through somewhere that fucked me up. I was bloody. And um, how many shrooms did you did you do like three fives or a hero dose like two grams? Oh no! Nah, but then I we also was drinking. 
Oh. That probably, and we didn't eat. Oh, yeah. And we ate the shrooms with a 100 milligram edible to make it taste better. What were you on? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm approaching middle age, man. Life get boring. You was just saying, fuck it today. Clear my schedule. I just went through a breakup, oh, and yeah, it was no just like. <laughs> yeah. I had to do it. Clear, clear reset my spirit. Yeah, I cried. And you know what? After I got up from whatever I went through, I felt relieved. You do. I felt relieved. I was on shrooms in the club, crying in the middle of the club. Now, that, that would have happened crazy. if we stayed in our bar longer. And when, when I looked up, it was six girls like twerking. Like, it was literally like a you. And they were just twerking. They was giving you in a good spirit? No, they were just they, they were just a good time. He like, was just crying like, man, this ass is no, so I, 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 pretty. I, I, That's oh, amazing. I, I was just like, my life is falling apart. And I look up and all this ass. And then I'm like, and I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they were saying, we was cool at first when we were in the bar, but, like, my homegirl, she had a homeboy with her. Well, he came, and he was, like, being aggressive, like, yo, give me some shrooms. And, like, I felt like I was seeing his aura. You're an aggressive rapey man. Yeah, like, his face was looking big to me, and he was looking red, like a red aura. Like, I just felt like he had bad vibes. So, to like, that was kind of, so I remember I was kind of being like, dude, dude, you know, but then him and his girlfriend were kind of being like, yo, she's being weird. I mean, I don't know. I'm on drugs, but I'm like, dude, you're fucking being weird. Yeah, you know what I mean? But I remember we walked outside. And when we walked outside, that's when it got scary. Because it was like 2.30 in the morning, Edgewood. Yeah, that's niggas is brandishing yeah, their weapons and shit. Yep. Niggas, this is Wild West. Like, niggas just got guns <laughs> out. Like, yeah, homeless lady who titted me out a little bit. Bitches was getting carried out the club for fighting. Yep. Um, I, I felt like I just saw everybody's aura. Like I saw colors around them, and the red. It was a lot of red. Cause we they were fighting at two thirty in the morning. That's normally when people do the most messed up shit. And we left. We had to leave. We left really fast. And, and that was my homegirl first time doing shrooms. So she really was like, "Yo." At one point, she was like, "I'm cool," but then like, cause shrooms hit you in waves. The shrooms yeah. we had hit you in waves. Like you one minute you're or cool. You had the actual like. The I had the actual shrooms. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, they was nasty. That's why we ate them with the edible, which probably didn't fucking help. Yeah, you was on the whole. Your body just went through it all that day. <laughs> you went through it. I'm like, nigga, in my mind, I'm like, nigga, I couldn't handle that. And and, and when I do shrooms, I want to do math problems. Okay, yeah, you be on some other shit. And the first time I did shrooms, the dude who I was dating at the time, I sucked his dick for like 45 fucking minutes. Wow. He came like three times. He was screaming like, stop. He was like, but then the next day he was like, they got to the shrooms, bro. That nigga was cooking breakfast. <laughs> what you want? Eggs Benedict. There you go. <laughs> that nigga was being stupid. Yeah, he was very like, yeah, the next day he was like, oh my God, like what? You said my nigga for 45 minutes, nigga. Everything getting paid. What you need? Yeah. <laughs> <A> carburetor? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never done that before. That's why I said that nigga oh, literally man. sent me messages the next day like, Shh. That nigga. Whole soliloquy of thank yous to you. How you feel? How you feel? About How's your day going? You? How's your relationship? I think he was like, I love you. So he ended up breaking my heart though, so fuck that bitch. Man, we're giving a lot of middle fingers on this episode. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> if you've never seen the episode, it's worth Fuck him. You should see Blake's episode. Only God dick I suck for 45 minutes, Man, and now we're not. That's crazy. We're not even friends now. At least you didn't start off with my auntie was a prostitute, so I'm like, damn. Well,. You have an underneath? No, 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 no. I got some uncles there with some hoes, though. And you know, I found out when I started doing comedy, like, some of their old hoes would, like, pull up at the show thinking I got money, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, I had one. She pulls up. She has one assless chaps, bro. First of all, how old is this woman? She's of age where she don't need to be wearing assless chaps. But honestly, she still had a figure. Oh, cool. well, But she that face, when you saw that face, it was like, oh, oh goddamn, Glenda. <laughs> <laughs> She got smoking gloves. <laughs> yeah, but she was just like, yeah, this. And she had a kid. She was like, you know, this your uncle daughter. And I was like, I don't know this lady. Like, I don't know. And she was just like, y'all need to connect, you know. And I was like, bitch, I don't got no money. What, is that what you was here for? My bumper's taped on. Yeah, you, you see that headlight out. Yeah, biggest thing, because they see you on flyers and shit. Like, you Ooh. automatically got money. Living the dream, you're not, you don't have no money living the dream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you live it, newsflash, people, uh, first of all, like and subscribe to this shit. Uh, Damn right. Because click the thumbs up, send it to somebody, because we saying real ass shit out here. Well, we be living the dream, and the dream that we be living ain't what y'all be thinking. It's, it's like doing crack. You'll lose everything. Yeah, you will lose everything I lost if a you car. don't give everything. I lost a family. I moved here with a family. 
you moved here with the family. That's yeah. Right. And you are not with the family anymore, I'm assuming. <laughs> no, I'm not with my I'm I moved with here. my baby daddy no more, no. It's all right. I was married at one point. You was married? For 10 months, like Kardashian. I was in and out that hoe. <laughs> like, no, this ain't for me, God. Get me out of here. Thank you, COVID. Stimulus check paid for my lawyer. We free now. Man, boy, it wasn't. I was like, I saw that first. Well, I don't know if you free. Check. I'm free. I've been free. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I've been out here sucking pussy all COVID. CMOS. <laughs> oh, I was having blow up, blow blow up mattress sex was at an all time high, man. Oh my! That's how I knew I was doing trans. Tra- I haven't fucked on an air mattress in. Oh, oh man! I was drinking Bel Air Rose, listening to some music and fucking on an Future? air mattress. No, it was I. I know the song. Was, Moonchild. You seem no. like you listen to like Moonchild. Nah, I was listening to some, some some ratchet shit. It was called Money Machine by Partisan Fontaine. Oh, Party. He's the writer like for uh, that nigga's exactly album. Who that is. Great. No, Partisan. I was on him before Cardi B came Yo, out. Yo, that nigga's album Oi. was good. Oi. Uh, what's that Shea Butter joint? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're yeah that about. was way after that though. That nigga's album I've been on Party before Cardi when was he, known. When he was still when he was popping in New York, he had a yeah. song called Oi. Yeah, I remember that, that shit was hard. That whole album was hard, one. bro. Yeah, I remember that. yeah, Party's a great, great rapper, but I guess it works for him. And Party is fine as fuck. Megan, oh my god, she if it wasn't up. for boy, and that's like six, that's seven, somebody two. I would not wear no draws for ever, ever. You hear this, Party's in <laughs> That's a nice big old chunk of man. He like six, seven. I mean, I probably could get him, but yeah, you got Megan. But I'm just saying, he's a big man, big hunk of chocolate. Oh my God, the things I 45 minutes, shit. I'll do 50. <laughs> I'm gonna do 50 <laughs> off the rip. Don't even have to tip me. You don't gotta give me nothing, sir. Shit else but good times, squirting and hugging, skeeting and touching. That's Let's talk about squirting. You be squirting? <laughs> <laughs> You be playing on that bitch. Not by myself. I can't do it by myself. I cannot make myself squirt. I've tried. The rose could. I can see that. That because that shit take your soul. That's how I found out that rose. My rose is broke, man. I had a nice evening set up, man. I was home alone. I I had them put the towel down. I had the page of porn I was going to be active on. Like, no, you don't understand. I, I had, had a nice... nice evening. I felt like you took them the light. I had it charged. It was on the charger. Oh, okay. It was really? still lighting up. Lay down, bro. Hit that button. Nothing happened. Oh, my God. I'm like sorry. That, so I don't know how it, the motor just went bad. Oh, you done used the rolls up. <laughs> Damn. That's bro, crazy. Hey, uh, when I first, <laughs> when I first got that thing, I can't lie. When I first got that thing, I had a nigga. Oh, you got And me. man, man, let me tell you, I, I listen, it's so good. It's so good. And any woman, it'd be woman that'd be like, I don't deal with toys. Bitch, you ain't never had one of them. I don't want to use something that good because I'm a not leave Man, the house. I'm telling you, my shit was chafed the first week, bro. Like, you, I, you can get chafed like that? The little bean? That, like, you doing it too much. You should not have that down there that much. Oh, damn. Like, I was literally in a relationship with that thing. Damn. That's why. Remember when that rabbit joint first came out? The rabbit joint. I can't do it. That's when I found out I had the ability to squirt. Oh, man. A nigga showed me, though. My baby daddy at the time, he had used the, I had like a rabbit thing on the bullet. Okay. Like, you could put a little, yeah, with the little thing on. That's the thing that makes it go crazy. Yeah, Yeah. that little thing. And he had like just left it on there. Usually, maybe I stopped beforehand. Um, and he just left it down there, and it was like, oh my god! Yeah, it was like an uncontrollable. That's how they fall in love with you, fellas. Use them toys; they help you. I know that's the toys do help you, and most men like them. Yeah, because it's make make me more efficient. Instead of forty five minutes, fifteen minutes, she up out of there, in and out. Ha! Huh! She done died. You right, because you can come like within one minute with yeah. the rose for sure. And a butt plug. It's like ten different type of movements on that mm-hmm. thing. It be having so many vibes on the on the on the roses and shit. Yeah, that shit probably needed to break. Cause I enjoy. I, somebody, ladies, y'all gotta tell me when y'all squirting. Cause uh, I don't have surprise. Some men don't like that. I'm cool with it because it make me. It make my ego go through the roof. I'm like, it be squirting on my spirit. All yeah, my because spirit. It's like most women have no control over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we just as surprised as you. Now nah, some women know. Some women know she's probably peeing on you, but um, I hope not. But hey, I'm nasty enough to take it. I don't know. I, I'm on this new vitamin regimen. I don't want nobody to make me squirt right now because the pee is coming out like neon. Oh, yeah, you got it. So it's probably going to be. That's <laughs> got that B12 coming out your ass. I know exactly what you're talking about because when I take my uh, my vitamin B, I'm with naturals and they are. Yeah. Oh, like so you got to take cleansing. three at once. Oh, and man. it is. um. You are having. You peeing out highlighter yellow. 
That shit look crazy. Yeah, it was literally. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> the vitamins look. It be strong too. You be like, That's me. I'm healthy. <laughs> healthy as it. It smell like neon colors in here. Yeah, but um, yeah. So, but like I said, it's only been. I, I think I've had maybe two, three men that have made me do that. Squirt. Them the ones you you believe in on your on your. That heart one that broke my heart. He definitely had it yeah, down pat. That. Like he would. He had it he down. He knew. He knew, and he knew when it was coming. Cause. Cause you can tell with your would, body. Yeah, like he knew when it was coming. And that nigga would be like, oh, give it to me. I He's just, you lost gotta, his whole shit. <laughs> no, not today. We don't want to change the yeah, shit. Yeah, that's how I used to be like, what? no, 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 stop, 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 stop. He'd be like, no, no, no. Because y'all be we needing not that shit. Because y'all, women, so, it's so many emotions. Y'all got to hit that reset button. That's what yeah, I think. Yeah, but I don't want, I don't want, squirts. I hope I don't meet no more niggas that made me do that. It's going to happen to you. Because guys. they be having your head fucked up. You be all in love. I got married. <laughs> Ate some butt, made a squirt, and I heard her say, I'm never leaving. And I was like, yeah, I got one, coach. Yeah, man. And then you be all in love with the wrong motherfucker. That's true. Because they don't wet you up. Man, that's life. You just going to love her. You still be people. fucking your ex-wife? Hell no. Never? I don't even know where she is. Never? Never. Oh, wow. That's... I ain't, no. It was, after, you got kids? No. Oh, okay. I pull out. I ain't with that shit till I'm with that shit. How old are you if you don't mind me like asking? Three. Is that? Oh, okay. I am not with the smoke with kids right now. I would be a terrible daddy. Would okay. not be there for my children, but I would be like, here's some money. I'm just being honest. Like, I know me. The way, you know how it is. Okay. I'm being a I mean, I'm a parent. Exactly. I but I'm also kid. a dude. You got one. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah, one. But, like, my, my kid's 13, so about well, to be 14. Your kid can make 14. cereal and steak and shit and use the picture uh, of the air fryer. Yeah. I wish I'm you saying, would. like, a brand new baby? No, no, no. That's how I feel, too. Like, any nigga I be fucking with now, they be like, you don't want raw? No. Like, I'm no, wrong. no, no. I'm not. Ladies, if you. Nah, I feel like, nah, because like, and lately, like, the past couple men that been coming my way, I feel like I'm just doing community service fucking with these niggas. So, like, two years from now, they see me on TV, they can have something to talk about. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I used to fuck her when he had work at Applebee's or some shit. I think, you yeah, know I what I'm saying? Like, I'm excited about that. Like, yeah, like, I'm going to give you a moment of relevance. Yeah, I but other than that, like, nah, bro, I'm not trying to, I, I don't want no nigga trying to nut up in me or wanting a raw dog all the time. I'd be scared. Nah. I'd be scared because, like, you know, it's levels to this shit. So, you know, when you're going through the different levels of comedy. So, when you start seeing the success and you start seeing what come with it, don't nobody tell you, teach you how to do that. That shit's scary. You fuck the fan? No. Never? Nah. What about let them go down on you? Nah. Damn. I ain't even, like... Cause I just be like trying to go in and go out. Like I had a I'm weak not, moment. I'm not even about. You had a fan one time. I had let, I let a fan eat my butt in my car. Man, Look I ain't even fuck this man. nigga. <laughs> I ain't even he fucking bro. Butt. Like it was. He it was. He he ate, ate my pussy and my ass. Oh, I thought he just ate. I was supposed to say he was straight. Ass, booty no, 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 no. He he definitely started in the no vagina. <laughs> he no, he started in the vagina and he he. Made his way downtown. He made his way downtown. I ain't stopping, man. He was just like, he wanted to go further. Like, he wanted to fuck. Like, he wanted to come over. Mm -hmm. And I, I I was nice. I dropped him back off to the front of the club. He was oh, a nice young shout man. Shout out to my man. Shout out to that man. He was a great young man. He's a nice guy. We got to name him. You thought I was feeling you? I really don't know his you name. Niggas a munch. He was a munch. <laughs> oh! and yeah, that's your first munch right there. He was my even, first munch. That nigga munch. Oh, wow. Munch, munch yeah. squared. Because he, he got was the a munch. and the twat. Munch and crunch. He, was a, he did <laughs> good, so he was good at it. <laughs> and he had a big thing. He pulled it out thinking that was going to make me want to. But I didn't want to. Nope. You did your job. You did. You like, dude, you're easy. Man. You're a slut. You're a slut, man. <laughs> a slur. I love when people are like, yeah, let you slut me out. Like, you want to get slut whore. out? Put fingers in everywhere. No, I'm just playing. He was a nice guy, so I gave him a ride back to the front. Of the establishment. She was telling jokes, everyone. Don't <laughs> <laughs> let it make seem like it was in front of his house. No, it was in the front of this fucking comedy club or bar or hookah spot or wherever he's telling jokes at. I don't know. You know how it'd be. That's crazy. But that was my one time oh, I do have taking one. a fan down. I do. Well, I didn't one. take him down. He was a munch. She wasn't a fan. Oh, I can't believe I'm telling the story. I've, I've been, been open. I've been so oh, yeah. open. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, I was, it wasn't a fan. She just saw me before I did anything. Just pulled in. My homeboys is out here. We wilding. She came up to me like, uh, excuse me, sir. Can I suck your dick? Nigga. Out the blue. And you let her. Uh, no. Yeah. Later on. 
<laughs> later on. But the way she was dressed was not conducive to dick sucking because she had on a Jim Brown jersey, some capris, and some K-Swiss. And she was like 55. He let a stud suck his dick. <laughs> no, she was, uh, she was built like... <laughs> It was an auntie. That's what was, in Mississippi, in Pascagoula, Mississippi, man. But you let her. Oh, definitely did. But it was awkward because she was like, I wasn't trying to let her. I was like, man, that bitch Kika came back to the hotel. My other homeboys ain't shit. They like, her, she got friends. She had like a niece and some shit. And they was like 25 niece. It was her and her good friend and then her good friend's daughter. All in our room. While she sucked her dick? Yeah. In front of everybody? No, no, not in front of everybody. She did. So I was trying not to get it sucked. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to pass to my homeboy. But she like, mm, I'm ready for this appointment in the bathroom. Nigga, out loud in front of everybody. I'm over there like, mm, Not the appointment. He's over here trying to suck my dude. I don't even want it. Then my homeboy was like, yo, bro. Did you come? Definitely did. But she fucked me up was she took shit out of her bra that was under the titties. And she pent her hair up with like the, the bra. It was a lot. She, she had, had hair accessories in her bra? Yeah, she had to pin her little hair back. And then, as I nutted, I was about to leave, and she closed the door and peed right in front of me. Oh, shit, yeah, she was old, bitch. She yeah, she was old. Fuck. She, she was old. I was like, bitch. Oh, no, y'all go together. Oh, nigga, she was yeah, like. Yeah, she peed in front of you? Yeah, she, she peed, peed in front of you. She right in front of me, nigga. Nigga. Did she fart a little bit, too? She knocked my hat off in the tub when I was giving my dick suck. It was wild. I was like, I shouldn't have did that. And to this day, I was like, man, it bitch. Jim Brown's throwback jersey on. Well, I can say the little fan I had, he was he wasn't no bad. Yeah, mine. She he played was, like college football or some shit. Yeah, yours sounds way better than mine. Mine just sound like I kind of got kind of reluctantly got my dick sucked. <laughs> I was like, you got man. some fucking mine is sympathy well. head or some yeah, shit. I just uh, I'm in Mississippi. Uh, might as well. Head. Boy, I'm we here. Might as well. Why head. not? Let go and let God. It's a story. That's why. I, that's how I look at it. Not Mississippi, God Bro, damn. it was in Pascagoula. I will never forget that. You did a show out there? Girl, when I first started. When I first started, goddamn comedy. I didn't did, I didn't did shows. Molested. Sounds like a little molesty. No, I'm I'm too grown to be have gotten molested by a lady in K-Swiss. I'm sorry. <laughs> she, you was grown, grown when this happened. I was like, it's like shit. I started my first year. I was like 24, 25. If that lady was like 45, bro, like that was a little... I was straight. I just was like, hey, Little man. R. Kelly vibes there. She she did what she did. You was straight. But nah, Shouts out nothing. to you, lady. You went in there and got what you wanted. She did. You went for what you wanted, babe. She took my soul and she pulled money out of them titties. I bet you ain't drop her off. Money and nah, hair accessories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just, I just was like, hey, so I'm going to take a walk. <laughs> Yours is worse. I see what you did there. God Yours is worse. Did you drop the nigga? Skirt, skirt. Hey, I man, mean, thank it you. was just like. Kiss the nigga. No, it, it was okay. no kissing. Yeah, there wasn't none of that going on. I'm not kissing no munch in the mouth. The fuck? You gonna taste your butt. <laughs> he did one of these. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> I did one of these. Right, you be blessed. Yeah, <laughs> be blessed. Everybody. <laughs> All right, my nigga. You pulled off playing future. <laughs> He used to look at my story. He don't look at my story no more. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know. A young nigga don't like you no more. Yo. They stop looking at your story. Oh, that's when I know I lost the whole. When yeah. Like, oh, oh, when a friend. young nigga stop looking at your story or he unfollow you, you're done. Out of there, man. You're uh, done. Uh, can you talk? Tell us about the TV show we were talking about before. Like, you yes. Know, how was it? First of all, was it your first one? Like, that was my first. Yeah, everything? that was definitely yeah. my first acting gig. I out of that, man. Yeah, that's what's that up. That shit be that shit feel good till you spending money. You like that was it. <laughs> that was that was it. Shouts okay. out to Rodney Perry though, who got yeah. me to do the audition. Well, yeah. you know, he referred them to me because um, I'm playing a character of the show is about. A group of men, I think it's what, four of them, they're mm -hmm. all best friends. Gotcha. Um, however, everyone has a very significant storyline. The show's called About Him. This is actually season five. Okay. So they already have a fan base. Each season is a different storyline, though. Gotcha. This storyline is about one particular character who's a lawyer. And um, basically coming out, kind of, I mean, like he had a woman, but he was sleeping with dudes, too. He, and he um, the bottom or the top? I, listen, I'm not gonna give away too much. The show is full of sex, though. I can't say that there's a lot of sex scenes, but the storylines are awesome. It's murder. It's it's oh, relationship shit. Um, you know, male, female, male, male. Uh, <laughs> it's, a lot of, a lot it's, of it's a very it's it's it very it touches on a lot of the down low. 
lifestyle. Right. I'm the main character's best friend. So I'm kind of this saucy, like we're lawyers. I'm kind of this saucy chick that calls him out on this shit. Ooh, that yeah, he be doing. Oh, yeah. you, oh did, it, did, it, did they write you shit or did you just go No, no, no. Talk? I had, no, I, no, they wrote. I mean, they would let me put in a few little lines yeah. to freestyle. You got to. Added so. my own pizzazz, but yeah. a lot of it was, you know, because it's not a comedy show. Okay. Oh, it's know? scripted. Yes, yeah, it's a scripted pages series. Have to read? Well, honestly, I learned that, you know, I thought with a script and acting, I would have to read the whole script. But no, you don't. Read your part. Yeah. <laughs> so you part, yeah, yeah, like before each day before filming, they would send out the slides that you need to slides, know. Yeah. So I mean, some days I, I practiced a lot and went over them, but then well, some days it was like shit. Just I practice right there. You know what I mean? And try to because you you, I didn't know that you film one scene like so many fucking times. And you can say it so many different ways. Exactly. Like they get you yeah. from every angle and. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you know. And then you got to remember what you did the last time. But also, time. there's somebody always on set where you can easily just say lines, and they'll read your lines that Scripty, you have to yeah. say. Yeah. A white lady with glasses. Mostly. No, they were all, they were black. What? This is a black lights. producer. Shots out to Anderson Maddox. Great producer um, out here in Atlanta. He's done a lot with a lot of people. I think he produced Mama D, little dating show, too. Uh, Mama D's on this series. I can see Mama D. Mama D is actually on the series. She's on the show. I deserve <laughs> Yeah, she's on the show. So, I mean, yeah, make sure y'all check it out. It's going to be on his network, Signal 23 Networks. And then after that, I think it's going to go to, like, Tubi and all of those others. That's dope. But he has his own network that's, that's really big, a part of the LGBT. QIA+. Plus. It's a lot of letters. QRSC, UVWX, you know, all of them. All of them. But, yeah, it was great. The cast was great. Everybody made me feel like, you know. Welcome. Yeah, I did not like wearing a wig. Yeah, because you had to go into makeup and all that weird shit. I don't shit. like now, wearing a lot of makeup. Me. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of the process is you just waiting around after you got your makeup, your hair, you Try, know. Trying not to mess it up. <clears throat> and they had me playing this character where they wanted to stick to the person because a lot of the storyline is true. Mm -hmm. It's the real people. So the girl, you know, she was an all black lady. She had like this Konecalon hair. What the hell is that? <laughs> Like, like braiding hair, kind of. Oh, okay. So I it looks more like, like you know, my hair is not that texture. So when they put that wig on me, it's giving Rachel Dolezal. You know what I mean? So. Uh, <laughs> you gotta show me a picture of this oh, guy. I know you oh, just took a picture. Oh, man. I don't want it. Wasn't, it was like, nah, I'll just see it when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, you just. Just, yeah, just, it is what it is. But the stylist ended up finding another wig that was a little more conducive to my hair texture. Okay. And um, she made it seem like she couldn't find the other wig for the rest of the show. So that's smart. We put that one on, but I still ain't wearing wigs. It seemed like it's hot up under there. It's very hot, just as hot as I am right now. Because I'm pretty sure y'all see my hair swelling while we talk. It's because I have been sweating hair. profusely doing this whole show. I'm overweight though, so I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? <laughs> I'm approaching middle age. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm, like, I'm we just overweight. I'm just, you know. We don't care, bro. Like, it'd be times we'd be like, yo, we really don't care. Because people no. think we'd be playing, but I'd be like, nah, we really don't care. Yeah, man. Y'all think we do? We don't. Yeah, I'm at the age where I really don't care. Like, either you loved it or you don't. Like, you like me or you don't. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not, yeah. My mama had to come to terms with that. She was like, you don't want to go back to school. Like, for what? Why would I go back to school to do what? To do what? Be in debt more or what? Yeah, like, what why are we would doing? I, why? Why would I go back? Yeah, because who's paying for college out of pocket? I don't know. With your comedy money? <laughs> ah! Comedy money is. That's a good one. <laughs> the fact that we think they're funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy money education. Oh. What, are, what are you talking? First grade? Yeah, with our Instagram <laughs> checks and Facebook checks. Yeah, Keep shout out to Facebook though. Facebook. Hey, you been getting them too? Hey, you got to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't understand about that, boy. Yeah. Shout out to Facebook. Facebook paid the most. You, facts. And everybody Facebook be shitting on Facebook, bro. Yeah, people don't. But my thing is with Facebook, is like, I look at all social media aspects as free promo. That's all it is. If you on there getting in people drama and all that bullshit, that's your dumb ass. I'm I don't put my business on there or none of that. I treat it as business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's free promo. That's and I recently had a video get like 10 million views on Facebook. Hey. So. Ooh. 
Did Numbers you know? went up, and then the right. same video got on World Star this week. So oh man, and then your shit gonna still go up. So you just gotta keep. Yeah, shit day. been going up. So yeah. we just gotta keep creating. That's how mine been on TikTok. I hit a couple mil back. Cause back. I mean, you literally can make your rent off of that. Facts, nigga. I it's some, you know, on. you can make up to thirty five thousand a month. On Facebook. on Facebook, yeah, I haven't got that high of a bonus. Yeah, me neither. I'm waiting. I'm like, nigga, yeah. let me catch two back to back real quick. Yeah, I'll be straight. Exactly. So I mean, I caught two. I I completed Yours my full too. bonus two times. I did, and I still didn't get an up bonus. Oh, they got they trying to see if you can keep doing that shit. But yeah. you gonna keep doing it because your your numbers. Are yeah, because I mean, I went from like what seven thousand followers to like close to thirty. That's what nigga you too on oh, Facebook. Yeah, mm -hmm. mine hit that like the last two months. I've been just posting every day, and the next thing I know, like, yeah. And then I got way more followers on TikTok, but they don't pay nothing. TikTok is just, I think it's just, I don't know what it is. They pay you like one cent a day. Yeah, I'm not. If that, I have been on TikTok. I've been monetized on TikTok and going on two years now. I probably made maybe a hundred and eighty dollars altogether. Damn, I'm, I'm I just hit around. I'm around thirty thousand on TikTok, but other than that, like IG going up too. So I'm like, I, have you getting your shorts monies from IG? Uh, yeah, but they it's not really They be flagging me, man Over stupid shit Well, yeah And they don't even be like dispute curse it. words Dispute it Because I have to do that on TikTok Oh, I do it on TikTok I win all the time Yeah, I dispute I win I all dispute the time for real But well, on uh, Instagram They don't even be letting me do yeah, shit Yeah, that video I did a video with, Had a dead deer On the back of a car And I was just Like kind of crying In the background Like, it's Christmas time Why the fuck did y'all put tar Cover the body You know And then they flagged you that's crazy. And it was like this is somebody dead. All right, like, we got a couple more left. Uh, before the right. cut off, man. Well, what what else would you like to discuss with me? We have discussed everything, man. This is <laughs> we literally have Bro. covered everything. <laughs> Edible squirting, uh, munches. <laughs> what terrible munches? I you had a munch too. Man, I, had, I got squirted on by. He had a lady. fifty year old munch in case with in a football jersey, but he had a munch. That's a terrible. Decision. He had a stud munch. I had a stud munch that had diabetes a little bit. Yeah. He might have been raped a little. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them where they can find you so they can find you. Man, follow me on all social media at comedian Randy Sky, R A N D I S K Y E. If you type in comedian in the letter R on Instagram, I know I'll come right up. Boom. Um, that's me, the lady. My hair is probably a little straighter then because I've sweated it out in this sweaty place. Mm, and, um, I'm a squirter though, so I'm used to having puffy hair, right? <laughs> Follow me. Hell not for yeah. that. Not but for squirting. She's not going to Oh, my God. Hey, mama, if you see this, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. They're not going to see Y'all made me this way. Maybe mama might be a squirter. Your mama? And maybe my daddy knows that. That's the reason for them. Because they married the fresh out of high school. Oh, they done did everything disgusting. Well, no, no, no. They're not married no more. They, no, I mean, like, they didn't do it. They married all. and divorced. <laughs> they, in between that, I almost getting divorced. They I told you to my daddy it. went back to a white lady. He oh. said, I. I'm tired of this nigger loving. Like, I don't need this. <laughs> Your high blood pressure got them yeah. seasoning on everything. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, follow me. And this has been so nice. Make sure y'all support No Draws, yeah, man. man. Pull up on subscribe, me. all that. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Shouts out Creative Soul Studio, Make Me Laugh Media. They power all this shit because I am just here doing shit. Uh, <laughs> and we're up out of here. It's hot as hell in this bitch. It is hot. Look at that maybe, episode, man. Yeah, when this shit yeah. come out, boy. Yeah, so I was like, maybe I shouldn't have worn two shirts. Yo, Ferg, what up?